Hi everyone, I'm Charlie White and today's video takes us back before Christmas where I paid a visit to my little sister's house to show her how to put a really heavy shelf up on a brick wall. Now I've done lots of videos on plasterboard in the last couple of years so this is quite an interesting one because it's my first video where I give you an insight into getting a really good fixing into brickwork. Now I did record it after a busy day at work so unfortunately the lighting isn't great. I was recording it on my smartphone rather than on my usual camcorder. The other thing is that the sound quality isn't very great so that is the last time I'll be relying on my Google Pixel to do YouTube videos. So apologies for that but if you're struggling to hang a heavy shelf on your wall I hope you find it useful. So a bit of background, my brother-in-law originally got in touch with me in December and sent me a picture of the shelf that they just bought. Now it doesn't look it but it was actually a very heavy shelf because it was made from marble. I then put together a very quick selection of what I thought would be the best wall fixings for the job which is coming up now on the screen together with a little bit of advice on WhatsApp about what scenarios to use each for. That left him to do a bit of shopping, but he was a bit worried about the uh, strength of his drill, which is just a very light handheld, almost more like a screwdriver than a drill. And luckily I was passing through the area, so I was able to pay a visit and get the job done for them. So enough of me talking, let's go back to December and see how I got on. And this evening I'm at my little sister's house because she's, she's got this thing, really heavy shelf that she wants to put above her bed here, but in an ideal world she doesn't want the shelf to fall off in the middle of the night with all the problems that could happen with that. So this is no doubt an issue that a lot of you have fixing heavy shelves up um, around the house. So I'm going to show you this evening the advice I've given her and her husband and fixings that I've suggested and talk you through the process that I've gone through to put this shelf up. So before we even get to fixings you've got a couple of things you need to do. You've obviously got to work out where you want the shelf to be. Um, above this bed here, it wants to be centralised, so I'm going to do that now. I've got this cunning little gadget here, DeWalt laser level, which I have for the day job. Clearly most of you aren't going to have one of these, but it just makes my life a bit easier, so I'm going to show you it in action. I'm just adjusting that. So the laser is now in the centre of the bed. I'm going to mark a pencil line, roughly the height I want the shelf. I've already held the shelf up. It's a good idea to do this with your partner. You can hold the shelf up where you want it and then one of you can draw a line denoting where the shelf's going to go. So I now have the centre line of the shelf marked on the wall with a pencil line together with a horizontal line for the actual position of the shelf on the wall. All that I then had to do was measure up to the line of the actual screw holes themselves and then measure from the centre line at that height to the left and then to the right to mark the exact position of the screws. So after all that I was able to finally mark on the wall the position of the two holes that needed drilling. Right now we're at the business end of the video. Um, you can see on screen now the little note that I sent to George's husband when he was asking for advice on what fixings to use for a heavy shelf like this. You do not want a shelf like this coming down on you in the middle of the night. So I came up with these different options. It's a really good idea before you know what's in your wall to start in, in the curtain industry uh, that I work in in my day job, the golden rule is you start with a small drill and then as those drills don't do what you want them to or if the fixing's not good enough you can work up. But if you start with a big hole to start with and it doesn't work then you, there's nowhere for you to go. So this would be my choice uh, fixing for heavy shelves like this. But instinctively I'm going to start with a 7mm drill bit which would be appropriate for this wall plug. These are really good plugs. A lot of brown plugs on the market but these are particularly good because they've got the little arrows on the side and we'll see how good the walls are which will determine which fixing we ultimately use. I'm really hoping I can use my standard drill to drill into these masonry walls because most of you out there if you have got a drill at all will have a standard drill like this. If the walls are too hard I might have to resort to using my SDS drill which I'd rather not use because it will be taking out the scope of the sort of tools that you have but if you're drilling a lot of walls and you hit concrete, because these things are brilliant because they drill through the wall like a knife through butter, with a drill like this you really would struggle. Right, we're ready to start drilling. I'm going to mark the position I want to start drilling. You can either do what I've done here, use a screw and your hammer, or a punch if you've got one. A really good little trick, get a dustpan, hold it under the hole, that way you catch all the cement dust and everything else rather than having to Hold a hoover, it's much more portable and you catch everything doing this. Okay, off we go. I'm actually starting with a 6mm drill bit. I'm 
We go on to hammer action. <laughs> Tap all the dust into the dustpan so that you catch it all. That's actually a really good wall. It's solid brick and we should be able to get a good fixing in there. Now, ordinarily I would probably use in that wall this wall plug which is a 7mm drill bit or you can use a 6 and just waggle it around a bit with this screw which is a 5 by, which is a 5 by 60 millimeter screw. But because these, this shelf has this slightly awkward um, bracket to fix to, with quite a large hole in the middle of it, I'm actually going to jump up to the next size. I'm going to use this Fisher UX8 fixing. And this larger screw, this is actually a 70 by 6 millimeter screw, 6 millimeter diameter screw with a big head. The advantage of this being when we insert the screw, it shouldn't pull through. You could of course buy some washers which would alleviate the need to use the bigger screw but the only washers I've the only washers I've got on the road at the moment are these rather large ones so I'm going to try and get away without using washers if I can. So good little set of drill bits here, DeWalt drill bits ranging from 4 to 10 millimeter diameter and I'm now going to pick out the 8 millimeter diameter drill bit. The other benefit of drilling a smaller hole first is that often Small diameter drill bits will get will penetrate through the brickwork. Works particularly well in metal as well, um, better than the wider ones. And once you've got a small drill, once you've got a smaller hole, it's much easier to widen that hole with a wider diameter drill bit. So off we go again. This time with the eight millimeter diameter drill bit. At this point we can do a bit of hoovering because you don't want a lot of the brick dust to come out of the hole when you insert the plug. So I'm just going to use my handheld hoover now. To remove the brick dust. I'm going to do a quick check to make sure the hole is long enough by inserting the screw, that's good. And now I'm going to insert the plug into the hole hammering it into place. Once you've done that, a little bit of a tip here, get a larger screw than the screw that you're using and just, and just bash the plug a little bit in so it's recessed in from the surface. What this does is it prevents the plug when the screw goes into it and expands the plug, it prevents the wall, the plaster wall from cracking. Now there are two things you can do at this position, at this point. You can either drill the second hole and put the shelf up, hoping that your two holes are level, or particularly if you've got your partner or an assistant with you, you can put the shelf up using the first screw, holding with your assistant holding the other side of the shelf so that you can make sure it's level. This is particularly useful if you were slightly worried that your drill bit might have wandered a bit in the hole as you started. That way you can reset the height of the shelf and make sure it's absolutely level. I'm pretty confident that the hole was good that I first, so I'm going to proceed with uh, drilling the second final hole. I'm going to start with the 6mm drill bit again because just because I got a good fixing on one side of the wall doesn't mean I'm going to get a good fixing on the other side. I hope this comes out because it was a bit blurred just now when I was trying to focus on this. I'm not going to use the punch to pilot the hole here because you can see the brilliant thing about these DeWalt drill bits is they've got a lovely little tip on the end that starts the hole in the right place for you. And now we're back in with the 8mm diameter drill bit. Again, as before, I'm just driving in the plug a little bit into the surface so that it doesn't crack the wall. Okay, moment of truth, time to put the shelf up. Unfortunately, I haven't got my impact driver, so I'm just going to use this. My drill on the screwdriver setting. I'm going to try to do this without these washers because they are a bit big really um, and I think probably the shelf will be 
perfectly safe without because these are big screw heads. And I've got the PZ3 attachment on my screwdriver bit. Um, I'm going to keep using the screw drill driver. Great thing about these wall plugs, Fisher UX8, so they're really versatile because you can use them in plasterboard or in brickwork. Right, now that's in, I'm going to get my hand screwdriver. This is a Stanley Ratchet screwdriver. I use this for absolutely everything. And a lot of people that I work with have bought one of these having seen it in action. So, so I recommend you buy something like this. Details of all the tools I've used today will as usual be in the description at the end of the video. Right, and the reason I use the hand screwdriver at the end is you have much more of a feel for how well the screw is biting in the hole than you would using a drill driver. Right, I'm glad I didn't use that washer because that is a really tight fixing and the metal around this bracket is sufficiently strong that it hasn't splayed out at all which I'm guessing the manufacturers would say is the idea of it. Right, that's not going anywhere. I'm really happy with that. So that's it, the shelf's up, and we're gonna put some pretty heavy things on there, happy in the knowledge that it's not gonna come down. So I really hope you found today's video useful. I get a lot of people asking me uh, when I'm gonna do um, a video showing how to get the best fixings into brickwork. So really, there is one in the pipeline, but it's a really difficult thing to do because on each job you have to gauge the quality of the brickwork in terms of then working out what the best fixing is for that brickwork. So hopefully you've seen today how we've tailored a particular fixing and screw to these particular brackets to make sure that we came up with a really good, strong, safe solution. So if you've liked today's video, please click on the like button below. And if you're new to my channel, I'd love to have you subscribe. You can do that by clicking on the link here. Started. <laughs> Hi, I'm Charlie White, and this evening I'm at my little sister's house because she's got a really heavy mirror. Not a mirror, a shelf. It's a shelf. Mirror. That's a really heavy shelf. She's got this really heavy shelf 